This tutorial will teach you the basics of Philo and give you some pointers to help you bump up your scores. Philo is all about aligning DNA sequences. DNA is constituted of four types of nucleotides, each represented by a different color. They can move left and right pushing each other when necessary, but they can't swap positions. You can select many puzzle pieces at once and move them by holding shift and clicking to draw a box around the blocks. Your score depends on how you arrange the nucleotides. You will be competing against other players in the community and the computer. The computer's score is called par score, and you can see it here by clicking on stats. You might be wondering though, how exactly is the score computed? The goal of the game is to maximize the matches and minimize the mismatches between the DNA sequences on the game board and the ancestral sequence. You can see the ancestral sequence by hovering over the node linking the two compared species. In this case, the human and the mouse. Let's move over all the nucleotides to the left and take a closer look at the scoring scheme. This is a match because both blocks on top of one another have the same color, which is blue. This earns you one point. This is a mismatch because the blocks have different colors. This will cost you one point. If I move over the nucleotides to the right, I'll create a gap. Gaps are bad. They represent mutations. In fact, the technical term for gaps is indel short for insertion or deletion in the genetic code. You have to avoid them. Opening a gap costs you 5 points, and extending it further costs you 1 point per nucleotide shifted. Sometimes, opening gaps is worth it, since it offers you a good alignment with many matches. See here, I shifted everything to the left and wound up with a total of 14 matches, 7 mismatches, and 1 indel. That makes 2 points. But there's a place for improvement. If I choose a more appropriate place for the indel, say here, I compensate for the gap by increasing the number of matches. We now have 10 matches and 1 mismatch with the top sequence, and 7 matches, 3 mismatches, and 1 indel with the bottom sequence, which is a total of 8 points. Now, don't worry folks, you don't have to make all those calculations in your head. You can access all that info by clicking on the parent node of the sequences you're interested in, and then clicking on stats. Don't be scared of trying out new alignments too. You can always revert to your best alignment by clicking on the bottom right button. Now, see that star over there? It illuminated because we beat the bar score. We can move on to the next level by clicking on the star. We're now in stage 2. Notice how the two previous sequences from stage 1 are locked. That's to make you focus on aligning closely related species. We want the mouse sequence to be more closely compared to the human sequence than the cow sequence. The brighter the branch linking related sequences, the better your alignment. If I move all nucleotides to the left, there are more matches, and as a result, the branch is brighter. We reached the par score, which is zero, but we can do better by shifting the bottom sequence to the right like this, and allowing for more matches. The score is now four. Let's move on to the final stage, where all sequences are unlocked. Stacking up the previous solutions does not seem to do the trick. 11 points are not enough to beat the par. Look at the ancestor to have an idea on how far you are. Intuitively, we want to align as much as possible the two top sequences and the two bottom sequences. Notice those purple nucleotides at the end? Let's align those. We got a magical score of 29. That sure beats the par. But how is this configuration scored? Let's break it down. The key to Philo is to understand that child sequences are always compared to the different ancestors. The scores computed with each comparison are then added to make the final score. In our case, there are four steps in the calculation of the score. First, the two top sequences and their ancestor are scored. The score is 8, since the ancestor didn't change that much. It's the same as in stage 1. Then, we need to score the alignment between this ancestor and the one at the root of the tree, where you have 10 matches and 1 mismatch, which is a score of 9. Now, for the two last sequences and their immediate ancestor. The ancestral sequence has drastically changed. Considering the stats, the score is now 1, which is lower than the one obtained before. Why that? Well, if you compare this intermediate ancestor with the root ancestor, you can see that both sequences match perfectly, and thus you have a score of 11 on this edge. In fact, 
The ancestral sequence has been updated to optimize the total score along all paths from the root to the leaves of the tree. So what do we have in total? 8 plus 9 plus 1 plus 11, which is 29. We have the highest score, and we can submit it. This tutorial was based on level 1946. You can go ahead and try it out. Have fun playing Philo, remember you're contributing to science, so get those high scores rolling.